There's my load right there. Safely delivered. Good morning, everybody. We just delivered our freight. Ready to go home. We picked those up in Drummondville, Quebec. Brought them through Northern Ontario with about a full two day drive, full two day drive. I turned it into like two and an eighth, two days a little bit because I stopped in Kenora last night. We uh, filmed the rest of today. We sort of combined the first part of today with uh, the last vlog before then. But the video before then with me just cruising through Northern Ontario, not really doing or saying anything, just focusing on getting here as fast as possible. Is clean? I'm getting new glasses in a couple of months. For now, these are still doing the trick, I guess. If I can keep them clean, it's so hard to keep them clean. But when I first got them, these were my first pair of glasses ever, right? I didn't quite know how to clean them properly, and I ended up scratching them a lot. Now I know better. Okay. Let's get back to the yard. Let's go bring this empty trailer back to the yard. I gotta pick up some equipment that was left there of mine on that old shingle load from like two weeks ago. I gotta finally get that equipment back. You gotta you gotta stay on them to get your equipment back, otherwise it just disappears, right? It's expensive stuff. So I'm gonna go get that back. And then we'll see. I'd like to rotate the tires on my truck, my drive tires, crisscross, like left, rear to front, right. Cross them like that. We'll see if I have time. I need to get home by supper. Sure, I find the right way of getting out of here. I missed the exit. I mean, pardon me, I missed the entrance on the way in. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure it's the second time I did that. like that the blink of an eye I dropped off the trailer handed in all my paperwork and now I'm in Blumenort Manitoba at KK Penner tire this is my tire place 
just down the road from my mechanic technician place. They're gonna rotate my drives. Gotta go in there and let them know I'm here. Then they're gonna take the drives from the back on the driver's side, put them on the front on the passenger side and crisscross them all like that so that I get more even wear. And then I can go home. So you can see here, so these ones are the worst in the back here. They've worn down the most. And you can see the ones in the front here are much better, right? Because the rear axle wears down faster. So, let them do their thing. Shouldn't take too long, they were able to get me inside right away, so I'll probably be out of here in like 20 minutes. So I have two places that I let touch my truck. There's PBX, which you guys know, that's just around the corner down the road. That's uh, Peterbilt of Steinbach. They can touch my truck for any work, mechanics. When it comes to tires and wheels, KK Tanner and Son in Blumenord as well. They also have locations in Brandon and I think Dryden that I've never been to. But uh, these guys are the guys who I get to take care of anything to do with my wheels and my tires. So everything's sort of in the same area here and they're both local companies. So I like, like to know that I'm supporting local at the same time. All right, all right, all right. Got that done. I've got about 120,000 kilometers on these tires. And they're doing pretty good. Take a look at them again once I get to the shop. One hundred twenty thousand kilometers is about seventy-five thousand miles. I want to get because uh, these are Blackhawk tires, right? So they're the cheaper brand. So I don't expect them to last as long as Goodyear or BF Goodrich. They were half the price. So if they last half as long, I got my money's worth out of it. My friend Moses uh, has BF Goodrich on his truck, and he just changed his drive tires and he got just under 400,000 miles on those tires it's about 600,000 kilometers so if I get half of that I've got my uh, I got my money's worth which right now I'm on track I definitely won't get 400,000 miles out of these I don't think We'll see. We'll see. All right, so these two tires here were up there, right? These two tires here were there. Switched them around. So you can see the ones on the back here. These are my two best ones. Still doing pretty good after about 75,000 miles. Not bad for a cheap knockoff tire, right? All eight of these tires were $4,000 altogether. If I were to go with a big brand name like BF Goodrich or Michelin's especially, it would have been closer to $8,000. Like I said, double the price. So if I get half the miles, I'm gonna base this off my buddy Moses who had those BF Goodrich's that I was telling you about, 400,000 miles. He could have got, I think he, they switched them after 380, but he said he probably could have gotten an extra 20,000 out of them. But since it's winter time, they decided to change them a little bit early. So let's base it off that. 400,000 miles with BF Goodrich tires. These are Blackhawks. Uh, offshore tires is what they call them. They come from, uh, it's a Chinese company, I think. But uh, they've been very good. They were cheap and 75,000 miles. These are still doing very well. I do have one here. This is my worst one on the inside there. This one here, these were on the back. Still not too bad, right? Wearing very evenly. We can uh, clean them off and I'll show you again on Monday when I'm in here. The worst one I have out of these is this one right here. This one was underneath the half fender on that side, on the inside. And you can see that it's not exactly wearing evenly. Right? Can you see that? 
Only that tire. That's the only one that's doing that. The rest all are wearing very nice and even. What's this one? <laughs> so I'm going to keep my eye on that one. It's still okay right now. I'm pretty sure it'll even out now that it's been rotated. It'll probably wear down pretty quickly now until everything goes level, but we'll see. I'll keep you updated on that. I told you I was going to uh, keep you updated on these tires after I bought them. And uh, that's where we're at. How do I look? This is my dog walking hat. Very important. Oh, nice. It's gold side. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Got to deal with me for a couple days now. Come on, Wiener. Oh, it's starting to snow over here. Nice. Okay. I'm glad I'm not on the road. I don't mind it snowing when I'm not at work. So I'm all showered up. And uh, we're about to head over to my mom and dad's. We're having tacos tonight. I'm so hungry. I'm looking forward to it. I might even bring some home for you, Wiener. Probably not. So I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it all. There you go, bud. So it was a good trip. Rounder we went uh, from... Oh, I'm trying to think back now. We started here in Winnipeg. Went through Northern Ontario to Mississauga. Unloaded that in Mississauga. That was a good trip. Went up to Quebec. Loaded up those tracks. We waited there uh, just to the next morning. So we wanted to put some more freight on the trailer. That didn't work out, unfortunately. So I came back just with the tracks through uh, on Highway 11. So we went to Mississauga on Highway 17, came back on Highway 11 because I was a lot heavier then. It was a little bit shorter from where I was in Quebec. And we made it back here, got delivered, went to the shop, uh, went to uh, KK Penner. We got my tires rotated, my drives rotated. That was good. I needed to get that done. I'm glad that they weren't busy. That we could just seriously 20 minutes in and out. It was awesome. Went back to my shop. Got all my stuff out of there. We'll be back at my shop on uh, Monday, the day after. No, nope, it's Friday today. So Monday, I'm going to go there and uh, attempt to rebuild that bunk heater. Uh, it, it's just not working. I think the fan is conked out in it. So I bought a new fan for it, like a fan motor. And we'll see how that does. We'll worry about that. It's a Monday problem. It's, it's Friday. There's no problems today. It's Friday. Right, guys? Diesel. Do you miss the road? I know everyone else misses you. Too bad I can't take him with anymore. He's too old now. He can't even get onto the bed in our bedroom here anymore. He's 12 years old. He's going to be 13 later this year, but he's about 12 and a half years old. And, uh, yeah, he's, just a little, he's retired. He's enjoying his golden years at home with his family. We're hoping to get this fence done in the back there this year, this summer. But we may have to delay that uh, because of the second round of IVF that we're going through. It's very expensive, so we, we might have to push that off another year. Chevy, where are you? What are you doing over there? Diesel, come here. Don't just lay down. It's cold out here. Come on, Diesel. Come on. You lay down inside. Yeah, see, we put that temporary fence in there because there was nothing there. So let's keep the dogs in the yard, and we're going to redo that whole fence. But... Uh, like I said, this IVF is very expensive. It's about a $25,000 procedure, twenty-five dollars to $30,000, said and done, everything start to finish. So, yeah, we took our savings that we had for the fence. We had to reallocate it and uh, use it for this instead right now. So we're trying to build that savings account back up. You okay, bud? Come on, Diesel, come on in. Chevy, you too, come here. Chevy, stop staring at me, come on. Come on, Diesel. Here we go. Yeah. So we're trying to, we're going to have to build that savings account back up. Probably just have to wait an extra year. But it's fine because that fence that my dad built for us back there is doing just fine. It does the job. It doesn't look the prettiest, but it doesn't look ugly either. I think it looks pretty good. That's another thing we can talk about in summer. 
whole bunch of stuff. There's always something going on, right? That's life. Round two, IVF. It's a lot easier this time. Yeah, you're experienced. You've done it before now. It's like riding a bike. It's my hobby. That's what I do in my pastime. <laughs> so these are the injections you got to take every day for five to ten days or so, maybe, right? Uh, I think it's like eight to eleven. Okay. But these are my five-day ones, and then we up the game, I think, soon. Okay. There it goes. Theo, she's trying to make another one of you. She's getting herself ready. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help. Don't worry. My part's coming. Right? This is how you came into existence. This is what we did to get you. <laughs> and look how good that turned out. You were perfect. Perfection. We want another one just like you. Just like you. A little bit different though. It's gotta look different. Just as good Just as good looking, just in their own way. You wanna vlog? Here, grab the camera. Don't drop it on the floor. Here, I'll put my hand under it so you don't drop it. Okay, okay, careful. Careful with them. Oh, oh no, you gotta face it the other way. Turn it around. Look, it's okay. You got it. Look, there you are. There you are. It's a little dark in here. Mm. There. You got anything to say to the good people? He wants to be picked up. One second here. One second. One second. Let's put you guys down here. Come. Check out. Whoa. 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 Mommy's giving her, her seven needles. So those of you who haven't been following us uh, more than a year, he's an IVF baby. And we have it all documented. All of these same shots that Britt went through in the whole process. Uh, you can go into our, I think they're in our home time video playlist. Uh, they're also in, it was in 2022, right? That we did all that? Yeah, April 2022, I think. It's from April 2022, you can find it in our playlists there. Go in here again. Can I show this? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Needles. So I'm giving you a warning, I'm showing a needle. Gotta give herself two every day? So far, two. We'll probably up that. Oh, that's the one that takes so long to... No, this oh, one doesn't oh. take a long time. It just, this one hurts. Oh, it hurts. A little bit more than the next one. We're gonna get you a little brother or a little sister? Which one do you want? You want a little brother or a little sister? It doesn't matter, does it? We just want a healthy human. As long as you're healthy, just like you. Though it would be nice to have another boy so we could reuse all the stuff that's yeah. basically like <laughs> new for him. Wouldn't have to buy everything new for a girl. Yeah. <laughs> well, we won't have to buy everything new, just some pink clothes. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of flowery blankets. Some more girl toys, right? But I was a bit of a, I was like a tomboy, but a girly girl all at the same time. So I liked all the boy stuff, plus all the flowery pink stuff, so. Yeah. <laughs> now for the Always wants to hold the camera. You gonna vlog one day? One day when you're old enough, you can have your own channel. We have to decide on what age that'll be, but it won't be very young. <laughs> old enough to know the what the internet's all about. The internet's a wild place. Who knows what it'll be like then, eh? Maybe there'll be something different for your generation. YouTube was a big thing in my generation. And needle number two. This is the big one. It looks big, but it's actually much, much smaller. These ones don't hurt. Trying to get between the stretch marks here. because Stretch marks are still a little tender from him. If you don't like needles, this is your warning. <laughs> okay, so it comes up there like that. See, that's just a tiny little needle, these ones. Okay, and then you jab it in. <laughs> no, not like that. Mm. 
And then you hold for five seconds with the pens. And you take it out. You don't even feel these ones. These ones are pretty awesome. So. It's the other one that's painful. Yeah, the other one's a bit thicker. These ones, like, literally you put the cap on and they bend in half. So. You just take the needle off, you unscrew it, and you just so close it. So this is uh, some of the more expensive parts of it. This stuff is all very expensive. If you guys are wondering, uh, if you guys are thinking about doing this yourself and you're in Manitoba, every province is different. So in Manitoba, this here, uh, $1,700. Just for this one pen. Just for that one pen. And you'll need more than one, right? I have two more over here, but they're oh. smaller. So these were the cheaper pens, I believe. Those were $600 each. So $1,200 worth there, $1,700 there. These ones here, that's the Menopro, that's the one that hurts. They were... $1,500 each. Yeah, Almost $1,600. $1,500. dollars each, and then... Uh, yeah, my bill came to 39 something, so almost four grand, just for the med part yesterday. For the medications, the, the rest of it cost us about $18,000 that we no, paid yesterday. No, all together yesterday. All together yesterday. Oh, no? Yeah, it was about almost $14,000 for the other stuff, and then... So yeah, eighteen thousand dollars yesterday for that and the meds. And there's gonna be some more meds coming in. Probably another couple of thousand. Yeah, two or three thousand probably. So yeah. close to twenty, a little over twenty thousand dollars. And then for the transfer, each transfer is two thousand dollars. Plus genetic testing. Is, and genetic testing, we're paying for that too. I believe three hundred and thirty dollars in embryo, so we'll see how many embryos we get first. All together it'll be between twenty five and twenty five thousand and thirty thousand dollars. And then a month or two after we're done the egg retrieval, we will transfer another embryo from our last embryo from when we got his embryo, him. We'll see if that one takes too. Yep. So for those new to the channel, like I was just explaining before, this is the second time that we've been through this or that she's been through this. Let's be honest. She's going through all of this. I do contribute. I do have a, a very vital part to play. That part is coming. Couple of weeks, I'm prepping myself up, getting excited, getting psyched. He's gonna give me some DNA, but <laughs> he doesn't have to go through. I don't have to Besides the him. walk of shame through the clinic lounge. Yeah, I gotta go through the clinic, and everybody knows what you just did. You gotta, you gotta give your sample, your DNA. I think they should clap. They should. I think they should clap when you're leaving. Like, yeah. Job well done, sir. Bravo. Like, everybody bravo. knows what I'm doing in there because it's a it's a fertility clinic. Yeah. What else would a man be in there? Don't sit down behind you. He's behind. Oh, I heard him. He's a, yeah. If you're a man and you're in there with your with your wife or partner, there's only one reason you're in there, and that's to give them your DNA in a cup. I know it's funny, right? Phil thinks it's hilarious. He thinks it's funny. <laughs> But, you know, through all of this, we get that perfect little baby. It's going to do big things one day. Mom, but first we're going to talk and walk without, a, without uh, furniture. Yeah. So we have un unexplained infertility. The doctors cannot figure out why we can't conceive naturally, but we've gone through all of our options over the years and IVF has been what's worked for us. This is our last time going through it though. So this is the last time. So she is doing all of this for an egg retrieval. They uh, retrieve the eggs. And then when I bring my- They fertilize them. Bring mine, they fertilize them in a Petri dish. And then they let them grow for five days. And the ones who survive, they turn into an embryo. And then those go get tested for genetic, like genetic testing, make sure that they're all good. And then they go in the freezer until we're ready to tr transfer them. The transfer is when they uh, implant into the uterus. So. And then perfection comes and out. Perfect. We got later. very lucky. Little perfect little guy. So thanks for watching today anyways. Uh, I appreciate that. Hit that like button, the subscribe button. Those are free. If you want to go to the next level, you can always join and become a member. You can learn more about that below if you hit the join now button. It'll give you a little more details there. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be at home. The next day I'll be at home and Monday I'm going to be attempting to a rebuild of that bunk heater. Let's see how that goes. I'll see you tomorrow though.